Well, if you're using a Windows computer and you need to take a screenshot, I mean, there are other ways to go about this, but uh, there is a tool that's been built into the last several versions of Windows called the Snipping Tool, which can be used to capture part or the whole screen on your computer. And that's probably the lowest common denominator on a Windows machine that I can demonstrate. Now, if you're planning on doing a lot of screenshots, you might want to invest in some better program for screen capture. I personally recommend Snagit from the TechSmith company. But if you're on a Windows machine, you should be able to just open up your start menu and search for the snipping tool. There it is. Uh, when you choose that, probably it's going to kind of freak the screen out a little bit here. That's OK. Uh, and you have a choice of what you want to snip. You can either draw a rectangle or some sort of freeform shape, capture a specific window, or just capture everything. In this case, I'm going to go with that default behavior and draw a rectangle around something. Notice how the box disappeared when I started dragging the rectangle? So it's not going to get in the way. So I select the area, and the snipping tool program will show me what I have, and it gives me an opportunity to save that snip. It defaults, at least on my computer, to saving in the pictures folder, but you can save it anywhere and then, you know, name it something appropriate so that you can find it again later, like uh, I'll call this one Mountain. Um, the default file format that the snipping tool wants to use is a PNG file, and that's fine for turning in in this workshop. Uh, the other ones that might be useful to you, JPEG or GIF, um, I can't imagine why you'd want to do this uh, MHT file. That's really not standard. But leaving it at PNG is just fine. And you say save, and it actually saves the file, in this case right here on the desktop. And I can close out of the snipping tool, and I can even preview that, and you'll see that's exactly what I snipped off of the screen. So it's not a powerful editing tool, but for just grabbing things off your screen and being able to send them in to indicate that you've done an assignment, this works very well.